So one of the biggest things that time trialists and I'd say like all cyclists really, whether that's a road bike, time trial bike, gravel bike, uh, cycle cross bike, whatever it is, it's adapting your body into the position that you want to, to get into. So if we looked at like a, a time trialist or a triathlete, then a lot of it is around uh, doing like a specific aero drill to adapt me into the position. Like generally, as soon as you go into like the tri bars, there's a lot of weight that's going to go through like your shoulders, neck, and your head position. So I incorporate like a lot of aero drills. A good one to start off with is just starting small. You know, like a lot of people think, oh, I'll just jump on the time trial bike and do like an hour. But you're better looking at 10 minute blocks. So what initially we do like a lot of drills. We do like like 30 seconds in your aero position, 30 seconds out and you can start incorporating these into like your training. You know, like training in front of a mirror, you know, it's something that, it was the first thing that I ever did when I wanted to get like more aerodynamic. It was training my body to uh, adapt to the position itself. But it's just breaking every element down. And that's where, again, it comes to like a bike fitter, understanding like what your mobility and range is, where you want to go with your fitting. So if you had like an injury, then obviously initially you've got to work on like that. But then, okay, you address that point, the next phase is, okay, well I want more out of this. And you gradually progress it. It probably takes, initial bike fit, I always say takes a couple of weeks to adjust to. It probably takes six weeks to really drop into it. But to engage like everything, you know, like when you see somebody that's really good at what they do, it probably takes two years to get to that point. But it's just a matter of breaking every small element down, really. And it is very much doing specific drills. 85% of the drag comes from the body. So if we look at like a road race, if I'm able to conserve energy, then I'm gonna go a lot quicker. At the, re the end of the race, I've, you know, the last 10K, then I've got more energy than the guy that I'm racing against. Or if I'm doing a sportive, then I'm gonna be able to finish strong. I'm gonna be able to bring that time down. If it's gravel, then or cycle cross, then it's all about like the technique. So if I can work on my technique, you know, like I can learn how to get around the corner, I can uh, learn to descend properly, I can learn to balance, put, you know, like put the weight on the bike correctly. My time's going to plummet. I'm going to be able to get around the, the course a lot quicker. You know, like years ago, we used to get the bike out of the box. We might set a satellite. What do I do? I slam my stem as slow low as I can, and then you know, like I go for it. But like now, we've just seen like a lot of it is, and this is applicable to time trialing. Like front ends are coming higher because we've got more adaptability with them. And on like road bikes, like now we know that you know if you go into the wind tunnel, like if I can get my shoulders in now rather than being more bolt upright. Number one, I've got better control over the bike. Also, I'm going to be a lot more aerodynamic. 